There's an interesting thing about the Bible that I don't know if you agree with or not. One of my sons, when he finally found Christ, you know, a lot of people, when they find God in whatever form they find God, they believe that they have found the way and everyone else should do it that way. I'm Christian myself, right? So it's like he's lecturing me. So one day I was in Fiji, I was with my wife, and I was like, you know, I'm not gonna influence my son by talking about this. I said, I need to read the whole Bible from beginning to end. I wanna do it over the next four or five days. I'm gonna go on a fast. I fasted and read the entire Bible in five days. One thing struck me that I thought was really interesting, and I went to my son with this. I said, you know, honey, I said, I just read the whole Bible from cover to cover. It's a wild journey. I said, it was beautiful. First thing that came to me is God seems like a selfish bastard in the first half. I said, he's mean, he's jealous, he's spiteful. That's not my experience of God. And then I read the second half of the Bible. God is, it's not just about one, it's everybody, and everyone can experience this joy and this love. And I said, so I have a question for you. Do you think God grows? And he looked at me and said, what are you, what are you saying? Is this, is this a technique? I said, it's not a technique. Everything in the universe grows or dies. He goes, well, God knows what's gonna happen before it's gonna happen. He knows your thoughts. I'll buy all that. But my question is not that. My concern is, your experience of God is through a minister, which I think it's a beautiful thing, but I'd love it if you'd had a direct experience of God and that was what you're making judgments from rather than what somebody else told you. I'd love to have you read that same Bible and see what your experience of it is rather than someone telling you what it means through their filters. And that's the only thing I wish. I wish everybody's experience of God, quite frankly, was as unique as your signature. So instead of fighting over, you have to have my signature, everybody wanted to have their own individual signature, their own individual connection with God. I just want them to experience the joy of knowing that they're not alone and that they're made of something way more than their intellect and their ego.